So hi, hello and welcome, Mike Rope Hunter here and today I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, connecting a DSLR camera that I've got over here to a screen, to a monitor or to a laptop computer. This was one of the questions uh, that I received recently from one of my viewers. Um, so it's not about connecting the camera now to the microscope because most of my other videos were about that topic. But now how do you actually get the signal from a camera um, directly on a computer screen so that you can do some live microscopy. So you don't have to look through the eyepieces then but you can also watch that what you want to see on a computer screen or on a monitor. Now what are some of the advantages of this? Of course more people can watch that what you're seeing. That's a big advantage especially if you are in an educational setting for example where you need to show something to other people then of course it's easier to display that uh, what you have here directly on, on, a, um, on a screen. And uh, it also is a little bit uh, more convenient uh, because uh, the camera will then actually display that exactly on the screen of what you're actually going to then film or take pictures of. Um, so you can do all of the adjustment uh, and the focusing of course um, by looking at the screen and, and then when you want to take a picture then you simply press the shutter release and then you can take a picture or you can take a video. In other words it's easier for you to do some photography this way. Now generally there are a few disadvantages as well um, concerning the um, concerning the live view and uh, one of the disadvantages is, is that um, depending on the camera the resolution might not be quite as high. Um, some cameras do not feed out a full resolution um, of the HDMI signal but only um, basically show that what you would be able to see on the screen. Um, so the resolution is kind of low, um, especially older camera models uh, will do that. More modern camera models uh, will actually put out a higher resolution here than what you're able to see on the screen and this is of course an advantage. Now when you have not bought a camera yet uh, and if you have to make a choice about which camera to use to connect over HDMI then uh, do look for the feature called clean HDMI. Clean HDMI means that the signal that is uh, delivered by the camera um, does not contain any of the additional information that you normally would see um, on the display of the camera. Um, the older camera models they will simply mirror that what you have on the screen on the camera screen um, on over HDMI and sometimes uh, this can be a little bit disturbing. Um, and clean HDMI um, does not uh, yeah, allows you not to show all of this additional information. This can be an advantage if you want to record a video not on the camera itself but uh, directly uh, over the HDMI. I've not done this and I think there is no, not, no big advantage to that. These are usually some studios do that. I generally always record the video still on the chip card because yeah it's uh, quite efficient. I get the best resolution this way and it's enough for my purposes. Now when you want to connect uh, the camera to uh, a screen there are a couple of things that you have to take into consideration. First of all you have to know that the HDMI connector here on the DSLR camera is a small HDMI connector and many monitors they have a large HDMI connector, full size one. So there are two solutions to this. Uh, either you buy yourself a cable that has a small HDMI connector on one side and a large one, a full size one on the other side and that is the recommendation that I give you. Or you buy yourself a small um, adapter like I have here um, and this one actually plugs in here yeah. and over here um, I can then connect to the large uh, HDMI connector and uh, with a regular HDMI cable. Now I do not recommend this uh, setup because it's very inconvenient and it's kind of large and bulky and um, yeah wobbly and there might be a little bit of stress exerted now on the plug here so um, I did not find this very convenient so what I recommend is, is that you get yourself a cable to directly connect it to the monitor. Now not all monitors have an HDMI connector, especially the older monitors don't have that. And if you have an older monitor standing around that does not have an HDMI connector, then don't throw the monitor away, but maybe you can get yourself another adapter here. This one for example is a DVI to HDMI connector. So this goes into the monitor over the DVI port and on the other side I have a full size HDMI connector and that's actually also the system that I'm using because uh, I've got an old monitor that I'm only using to display uh, the videos that I'm getting from the camera. So this basically means that uh, when I switch on the camera um, then and the monitor then I have immediately I have an image uh, displayed on the screen in live in real time and this is very convenient because I do not need to start any computer. 
um, this simply the HDMI video is sent out uh, directly to the screen and displayed on the screen. So this uh, allows me to do microscopy in a very convenient and easy way. I don't have to turn on the computer and boot up the computer and do all of these things. It's not necessary. Now, if you do not have a monitor at home, but if you have, for example, a notebook PC or a laptop computer with a USB port, then I suggest that you try out to use a USB cable and, and connect the camera over USB to your computer. If you do that, then you need to install an additional app it's called the EOS Webcam Utility. And the EOS Webcam Utility is a free uh, downloadable program that you can get with your camera. Um, and then you can use the camera just like a webcam. Uh, in other words, you can also record videos and take pictures if you want to. Again, I do not recommend that. Um, I would always record the pictures and videos directly on the camera because uh, you get the highest speed this way because the USB connection might be kind of slow, um, but it is also good for live viewing in any case. Uh, so if you have a spare monitor, go over the HDMI way. If you don't have a spare monitor, put a laptop and another uh, yeah, computer that you want to hook up the camera directly, then do it over the USB. Um, I generally uh, consider both options viable options, um, but uh, I would say don't forget about all of the other advantages and disadvantages either. If you want to connect it to a computer, don't forget you need to have a computer space for a computer next to your microscope. Uh, you've got to be careful that you don't spill any liquids over the computer. Um, so all of these things you have to, of course, also take into consideration. But generally, I would uh, try it out uh, and uh, then uh, yeah, you can find out which system works best uh, for you. Now, if you do not have a DSLR camera um, and if you have a, a small microscope camera that also plugs in at the top, well, then you have to go the USB way anyway, because man, in many cases, not all, all cases, but in many cases, um, those cameras do not have an HDMI connector. Some more modern, more expensive cameras do. So if you buy yourself a, a think about buying yourself a microscope camera, then also take this into consideration of whether you want to connect it directly to a screen or whether it's okay for you also to have it over a computer. Well, I think I'm just gonna leave it at that now. I hope that this has given you some kind of a, yeah, a short insight into what you can do here. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.